The GeekWire Studios team has traveled thousands of miles to Hangzhou, China. We're currently in the Longjing village where a dragon well tea has been harvested for hundreds of years. From tea to technology, Hangzhou is the home of Alibaba. We're here for the Apsara conference where Intel and Alibaba have exciting announcements around technology to enhance the Olympics experience, data center results, developer cloud announcements, new IoT Edge technology, and more. We're looking at a data center collaboration from cloud to edge. Join us as we step inside the worlds of big data, IoT, and artificial intelligence. I'm Brian Westbrook, you're watching Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. What are the collaborations between Intel and Alibaba Cloud, and what will we see at the Olympics being powered by these two great companies? We're very excited to be announcing four integrations with Alibaba. The first one is around virtual reality and the use of 8K technologies to deliver an immersive 360 experience. The second technology area that we're really excited about is our work on 3D digital twinning. And that's very important. That really brings the promise of IoT, not only to smart stadiums and to the operators, but also can be leveraged in other parts of the business or businesses around the world. The third area is the work we're doing around cloud broadcasting. And that's really helped bring the cloud economics and efficiencies to the broadcasting experience and also enabling broadcasters around the world the ability to deliver that great personalized experience without having to be at the games. The fourth and final solution that we're announcing today is the work that we're doing around 3D athlete tracking. A great, great integration of artificial intelligence and computer vision, both to enhance the broadcast experience as well as a potential training tool for athletes. From tracking world-class athletes on the court to world record-breaking performance in the data center, Intel and Alibaba collaborated to win some awards. Let's learn more. You've come a long way to optimizing these benchmarks. Uh, what are the results and what technologies have gone into place to get you there? So one of the really interesting part of cloud is that all those CPUs, right, Intel CPUs, are readily available on the cloud. But one question remains, how do we optimally use those CPUs or those hardware? And that's actually a software question. Um, by combining the workload analysis and the collaboration with Intel, we're actually able to basically design the best software stack so that when it goes to TPC XBB, we're able to basically it, like redefine our goals every year and get to this year getting twice as fast and half as expensive as the second place. This has been a long evolving partnership, uh, Intel and Alibaba. Explain to us what's evolved since you and I spoke on this very campus a year ago. We actually put the Obtain Data Center Persistent Memory into Alibaba's Data Center Cloud uh, to support Singles Day in November. So that was a huge undertaking to make sure that it worked well. Two is obviously um, the TPCX Big Bench um, since a year ago, another world record setting by, by the company and the, the collaboration that we have. Walk us through the partnership, the collaboration between Intel, Alibaba Cloud uh, in the analytics zoo space. Yeah, we actually have a lot of collaboration with our calendar on Analytics Zoo. As I just mentioned before, Analytics Zoo is an integrated data analytics and the AI platform for TensorFlow, PyTorch, Spark, and so on. So we already integrated Analytics Zoo with the Ali Cloud EMR service, so it's available to all Ali Cloud users around the world. We are also working with Ali Cloud on a new project called Frink, which is a new real-time streaming engine, and we kick off a context with Ali Cloud to the teams in China, which you combine the Frink, Analytics Zoo, Intel, Optane, Persistent Memory, and so on. And we already have over 3,000 teams join the context for Frink, Analytics Zoo, and the Persistent Memory contest. Tell me how Intel is able to help you move those benchmarks forward. So I think Intel is basically the expert in computer architecture, especially in the general computation field, right? Uh, by sharing the software side knowledge and work together really closely with them, we are able to basically utilize the uh, knowledge of both fronts. We know the software, we know the applications, and they know the hardware, they know the systems, and, uh, and I think the real value comes from a very close collaboration of our engineers. With lots of technologies here on display at the Apsara conference, developers may be wondering where to get started. Intel and Alibaba have a solution, the Developer Cloud. We've come to the Alibaba campus to learn more. Could you tell us what is this Developer Cloud? It's a community for the cloud developers. Our idea of the joint innovation and collaboration is to try to just reduce all the costs and to make the entry into the cloud's age more 
convenience. What was announced between Intel and Alibaba Cloud this week? Aladdin Magic Lite is basically a developer cloud that allows developers to access the latest from Intel through Alibaba's cloud. Why did Alibaba choose to partner with Intel to put this developer cloud together? Intel is much more than a semiconductor designer and a manufacturer. It has been continuously investing into technical innovation and also in the fostering of ecosystem. So with regards to the Absara Cloud, I think obviously there's custom CPUs involved. We've been working with Alibaba for four years now. Since then, we've been working with them to provide them with uh, far more um, cost-effective, flexible platforms, culminating in second generation that was just launched a few months ago. This is like codenamed Cascade Lake. So they have that. Uh, they're adopting Apache Pass with it, which is a key feature of uh, uh, Cascade Lake. Um, we're also looking at accelerators uh, for Alibaba as well because that is part of what they've requested of us. Um, and so those are the areas that we've gone deeper in. Uh, software tuning obviously uh, continues um, in a far bigger way than say the last year, agreeing on the frameworks for AI. Last year at this conference, Intel and Alibaba announced a joint edge computing platform. Let's get an update from Intel's Mark Skarpness. Yeah, so last year we talked about sort of a, a collaboration at a broad framework around the evolution really from cloud to edge, which we think is super important. And over the last year, we've seen that come to reality uh, with things like the Link Visual platform. We've been collaborating with Alibaba to bring our hardware platforms and our accelerators for doing inferencing at the edge together with Alibaba's software to really start to launch products. So we've seen the first instantiations of customers taking Intel platforms, Alibaba software that's been optimized for our platforms, putting them together and starting to deploy them at scale. So that's been really exciting to see. That'll do it for us from the AppSera conference. We've learned about the Olympics, Alibaba and Intel together. We've learned about big data. We've talked about a new developer cloud and lots more exciting announcements. Don't forget to like and follow our channel on YouTube. We want to hear from you. Leave your comments below. Back to the tea fields outside. I'm Brian Westbrook. You've been watching Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire.